If you want a healthy relationship, if you want to have a, a healthy life, healthy family, you know, the, the old cliche of when you're on the plane and the oxygen mask drops, who do you put it on first? You, not your kid, not your neighbor. You put it on you first. Why? Because if you're putting on someone else and you run out of gas, you run out of oxygen, you're done. You can't help anybody. You're useless. So help yourself first so that then you can help others. And that's one of the biggest misconceptions about self-help. I did a YouTube video on that one too. A lot of people hear self-help and they, oh, self-centered and it's all about you and it's individual and da-da-da. Wrong. The reason why self-help exists, in my opinion and in my experience, the reason why self-help exists is to help you build yourself up as an individual so that then you can go and have effective relationships. You can then help others. Remember, you can't do anything for anybody else until you can do that thing for yourself. How can you teach someone math if you don't know math? You can't love, trust, respect, depend on, appreciate, provide for anybody else till you can do that for yourself. So put the oxygen mask on yourself, get some air about yourself so that you can help someone else. And that's what it's about. It's ultimately about how do I help others? But if you're inadequate because you haven't really empowered yourself, what good are you to anyone else? Your children, your family, your community, your partner, you're no good. So that's the strength and the power of, of self-help and of personal development of personal effectiveness. Focus on you, not because you're selfish or narcissistic or self-centered, so that you can be the best version of yourself to then go help other be people be the best versions of themselves, period.